play OG. Well, that would either be Wapak or Bath. The early game at Paulding, first quarter, Blasia Moiler gets it on the block for the Redskins. She finishes through contact. Wapak out to the early lead. Bath responds with Lindsey Singhouse on the backdoor cut. The sophomore lays it home. Final seconds of the first quarter. Now Elizabeth Andrews from way downtown, and that falls all tied up at seven after one quarter. In the second, Megan Fisher drives the left side, flips it up and in for Wapakoneta. Then Kelsey Helmstetter steps into a jumper. It's 12-11 Wapak at the half. A low scoring game, obviously defense, the name of the game. Riley Culver drains the long two. Redskins bring a three point lead into the fourth quarter and Culver did it from outside. Here she is on the block. Two more for the senior, 19-15 Wapak leads. Kittens hanging around, Heidi Craddock hits the three. That's Bath's first field goal since the first quarter. But on the other end, back to Culver. She had some huge baskets down the stretch. 12 points, nine rebounds, and three blocks for Riley. As Wapakoneta picks up the five point victory, it's the first time Wapak has beat Bath in girls hoop since 2009, and they did it with stifling D. We knew that we were gonna have to play defense tonight. You know, the last time we played them, they made nine, uh, or they took, uh, 19 threes, uh, shot 67% from three. So that was really a key for us tonight is just saying, all right, we have to, we have to slow them down shooting wise. And I thought our girls did an excellent job tonight of just executing our game plan. Well, I'm gonna credit Blasia Moiler for stopping Brittany Ulmer on the three. And I knew that I had to do something inside. So I've never beat Bath and it's a great feeling.